And this is the inspiration here on the right, looking very ship shape and Bristol fashion. That's what I say. So this is inspiration. There's the launch and there's a dinghy on deck and the, the cabin is, my da dad is aboard opening the cabin and mom and I are waiting till the boat is open. About the, tell me about the dinghy on deck. Uh, that sailboat is the Montgomery 10, 10 footer sailboat. Mm -hmm. Very good little boat for this channel. Uh, certainly not ocean no. boat, but it, for Very this nice in the harbor. In the harbor, it's very nice. Oh, nice. If you look here in the water, you can see the propeller in its gap between the end of the keel and the rudder. So the water here is pretty clear, isn't it? How is the how is the wind topside? Well, it's, it's very light. As you notice coming up the coast, I suggest that it might be a Santana because there were uh, a flat sea, uh, no white caps. <clears throat> and now that we're here, it's uh, still very calm. Yes, this is the hatch that opens and it goes down into the crew's quarters. We use it for storage because we don't carry crew. Uh, we have a guest cabin that's, that's uh, intended for guests. How many people can sleep in the crew's quarters? Two. There's two bunks and there was a marine head that I had decommissioned so that I wouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, it wouldn't be leaking if it's not there. That's right. Very that's good. Right. This is the hydraulic windlass. For pulling up uh, the anchors. Pull up the anchor, one on each side. Uh -huh. Very good. This is the inspiration from the water side. And you can see the CQR plow on this side, uh, the, the plow anchor on this side. And over here we have a Danforth anchor. So two good size anchors. This boat sailing by is a Cal 28. Cal 28 is the boat that I grew up, grew up on basically in my teenage years. We had a lot of fun on that boat. The pilot house is where all the uh, all the machinery uh, is controlled. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a control panel here. For uh, lots of switches for the electrical systems on the vessel. And this is the generator. Night watch. You could have one person taking a nap here mm -hmm. sleeping. And he's very handy if he's needed on deck. Uh, the person on deck is the helmsman and he keeps the lookout. Uh, but if something happens and he needs help, he's got help right, right. here. Don't have to go down below and get somebody. And get, some, somebody get somebody. This chart table is the envy of the fleet. Why is that? Because you can put out a full paper chart. Oh, very nice. Not tiny little thing uh, folded up. Very nice. And Jodak has put under here... Ah, look at this. Tools. Tool bench. Because uh, this under here, this is where the, the, the diesel... Uh, generator is mm -hmm. and under here is the Volvo uh, power plant mm -hmm. so the tools are all handy wow. uh, to, to where they'd be needed very good um, the pantry and again the envy of the fleet we have an honest to god pantry look at this where people don't have to crawl lift up mattresses to get to storage very this nice is a real pantry very nice not common on many sailboats. Refrigerator. This is the ship's refrigerator, and over here. And here is the deep freeze. Guest cabin. Uh -huh. An and upper bunk. Upper and lower and bunk. bunk. And the Jodak has turned it into an office. An office. Well, uh, that's uh -huh. why you know that, Mom, that's why I think he needs to have a laptop computer. I agree. <sighs> it I would agree. make so much sense here. Yeah. If you. This is the forward head, nicely tiled and uh, brass or bronze fittings. Very nice, a porthole uh -huh. for some light and a skylight above and over yeah. here a shower. Very nice. This is quite the cooktop you have here. It's, yes, it's about a four burner propane stove. Mm -hmm. And I see you have, uh, what are these called? Rail, hot rails? Oh, uh, these are sea rails. Sea rails. So that when you're sailing, you could, you could use this to put your pot on here. Uh -huh and it won't go flying across. Very good, water. very important. It also has Oh, look a at that, a broiler a... on a vessel. How about that? Look at that, my goodness. Uh -huh. the, uh, this is the spice cabinet. Oh, very nice. It smells like a spice cabinet uh -huh. too, doesn't it? Behind here, we'll oh, spices. Secret, secret spices. And then behind oh. here, where we keep the guns. Oh. <laughs> secret spices, very good. Let me ask about the kitchen. You seem to have a double sink here, and mm -hmm. up there in the pantry is another sink. Uh -huh. That's a lot of sinks yes, it is. for a kitchen. The original, it's one of a kind, mm -hmm. for the uh, daughter. Uh -huh. And 
the original plan had upper and lower bunks here. Oh. And she said, I don't want that many people on my boat. <laughs> so the, now they made a, a, a wonderful galley out of it. Yeah. So the little one in the front that is just pantry and... Very nice. Food, food preparation, vegetable prep. Yeah. Now this is the beverage box. Can you see there's some Sam Adams beer on one side and some sodas and wine on the other, perhaps? Uh -huh. Very and, nice. And the idea behind that is that your crew, your guests, mm -hmm. can help themselves to a soda or beer mm -hmm. or whatever and not disturb the food that is in the ga in the uh, refrigerator oh. and maybe upset the salad. Yes. <laughs> and uh, they yes. can't do that. Yes. And this uh, companion, this ladder, it's a very this, steep ladder. Where does this go? This, this goes straight up to the steering station. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, the helmsman's chair. Mm -hmm. You can turn around and zip on down here. Oh, very nice. Now, what's so convenient about that? Um, when you're um, powering, mm -hmm. of course, the key is on and then you're using power. Now, when you shut off the key and you're on, under full sail, you're not powering, you don't want the shaft to turn. Mm -hmm. So you'll pop on down here, open up this hatch, or this uh, An access more hatch. Right here. Mm -hmm. shaft. Ah, that's and the engine's uh, shaft to the propeller. Uh -huh. Forward motion of the boat sailing, not under power, sailing, mm -hmm. will cause the propeller to spin. Like a windmill. And it slows down the boat. And it's not good for the um, clutch. Mm -hmm. So here is a brake. Ah. So and you, you tighten the brake. The shaft and brake. You, here, right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. You tighten the brake and you put the ignition key on its chain mm -hmm. on that. That now, way, that way, it's, it's, a, it's a manual uh, process interlock so that you don't start the engine with the shaft brake yeah, on. Yeah, you say, oh my goodness, here comes the freighter, I'm going to start the engine right. and destroy your... Right. Okay. This is the master suite. Uh, it's Would you call that? It's a queen size bed, isn't it? Yes, it's queen size. Very nice. Yeah. And then it has your own head attached and a closet to the left. And in the head, uh, you can see the tile work is very nice. There's a toilet, and but you use the shower forward. The same yes. shower is forward. Nice big hanging lockers. And notice ventilation. Yes, I noticed that. This wood is called Iroko, or sometimes called Iroko teak, and it comes from a tree in Africa. And it's particularly well suited to maritime applications like this because it's not susceptible to water damage from the humidity. I noticed the overhead has a unique finish and an interesting kind of wood. What is that? <clears throat> that is a local wood uh, from the Pacific uh, Northwest. Hmm. This is a cedar. Ah. And when we got the boat, it had been varnished, and varnish made it dark. So I here we are at the dock with the inspiration in the background. This, how long have you had the boat here at, at the Channel Islands Marina? Two years and two years and more. Two it's, years in January. It seems like a very pleasant place to be hanging oh, it's out. Oh, it's a lovely marina. Yeah. Two years and yeah. five months. Lovely location. Good.